Hello, this is Carolyn with Carolyn's Paper Therapy. And uh, today I wanted to share with you a, a small file folder, a little friendship journal that I made uh, out of the Forever Friends collection from Shabby Art Boutique. I had purchased this kit last year and uh, had never gotten around to making anything from it. And it's a beautiful kit with um, lots of great um, papers and ephemera and artwork in it that I wanted to be sure I got to do something with it. And what I've done today is small and uh, I have a couple of other things planned if I can get to them. But I did go ahead and print out the, the entire kit and uh, in the process of uh, fussy cutting out the little pieces. So what I did was just cut out what I needed for this journal that I'm making. So let me get going on that and I'll show you what I did. I really like these uh, sayings and things that are in the kit. Um, and so it gave me the idea to take the file folder, the file folders and put this on the front and uh, put a little journal together. So let me tell you how I, I did uh, one journal. I finished it and I was gonna do three, but it would it's gonna take me forever to do that. So I just did one so I could show you the project and you might wanna try this with the um, Forever Friends kit or uh, perhaps other kits because uh, Carrie Ann has these file folders in uh, quite a few of her kits and I have a lot of them left over that I haven't used. So this gave me a good idea for making little journals. So the main thing would be to put a focal point on the front and then, um, you know, accessorize it with your little uh, lace and things. But what I did inside was um, I put together a little package of papers and I just use regular paper and I uh, cut them the size that I needed to go in the, the file folder and uh, the file folder with it folded over measures um, almost five inches and not including the tabs three inches across so I cut my papers at four and a half inches tall and five and a half inches wide so that they would fit down inside. And what I did was I uh, printed my pattern papers on two sides. Uh, I included a book page just for something different. And so there's one, two, three, four sheets of paper. And then I used one of my little four inch doilies just to fancy it up a little bit. And if you don't have one of these pads, I have a large one that I use, but I have this small one I just wanted to show you. Uh, this is one of those self-healing mats and it has measurements and stuff on it. And so it makes it so easy to um, put your paper on there and measure the size that you want. And then I use a metal ruler like this because it's sharp on the edge and then you just pull this up and rip your paper to the size that you want it. And it saves a lot of time not to have to cut the paper, plus it gives kind of a shabby look to it. So this is the little package of papers that I put inside um, the file folder. And I used a staple stapler. Uh, it reached just fine, so I put two staples in there because I knew that I was gonna cover that up on the outside. Uh, you could sew them together if you wanted to. I just used staples because it was a little bit quicker and I wanted to see how it would do. So uh, what I wanna do is show you the one that I finished. And, um, and then I will probably make these other two, but I may not decorate them so much inside and actually put them uh, down inside a journal a larger journal, uh, or I might make them for friends, who knows. But uh, I've spent a lot of time on this uh, one that I finished, so I wanted to go ahead and share um, before I took the time to finish these. So here we go. 
this is my little friendship journal. And I gave you the measurements already and all I've done is tie a ribbon around it to close it. So I'll open it up and give you a look. On the cover, I use the um, the saying that says, it's the friends we meet along the way that helps us appreciate the journey. And I love these sayings. And so um, I wanted to be sure and make something that where I could use all of them. I really love them. Um, what I did on the cover was the uh, this one had just the roses at the top. And so... Uh, the first thing I did was put my um, lace uh, on the front and back to cover the staples and to um, make the spine stronger. Uh, then I put my, my um, paper on there that has a saying, and I put a rose down here in the corner, and I put this lace along the edge. And then I, I decided I had some lace that would still let the roses show through, and I thought that looked really soft and sweet. So I put that little piece of lace that was just the right size on there, and some sequins, pink sequins, and my butterfly. And I've used some stickles on this, um, on the body of the butterflies, and in the center of the rose roses, and this little flower. And I put a hole in the tab and have just attached some charms to the side here uh, with a bulb quit clip. Um, my little uh, made with love heart, a key, a, a flower, and a little piece of this same lace that's on the side. So that's the cover. I have to keep getting up to look and make sure my video is going. I don't want to do this more than once. Okay, let's open it up and just take a quick trip through. Um, this was on the inside of the file folder and I just used some lace and um, the words cherished friend. I wanted some lace on some of the pages so I had put that green lace and some ribbon and the little girl sitting in the flower garden. I left uh, some of the pages for room for writing, and then there's some uh, pockets with uh, cards in there that can be written on. This is one of the little envelopes that was that I had left over from um, the uh, tea, uh, Sweetest Tea Party kit, and it matched uh, everything, so I went ahead and used it, and it had the roses printed on it, and so I just put the lace on there, and it just flips out and has a um, one of the tiny little journal cards from the kit. I just stamped a butterfly on there. And then this is just a piece of uh, paper that I had that um, looked good with this. So these things are just tucked in the pocket there for uh, room to write. Over here, I used one of the large uh, tickets for a pocket, it's a side pocket, and I decorated it with some pink trim that I had and my pearls, the words best friends, and inside the pocket is two little tags. And this is mounted on our book page. I kind of like the look of the book page in, in the journals. I haven't done that much before. Okay, the next page is one of the uh, pockets that came uh, with the kit. It actually um, comes printed out and uh, folds together and then it's mounted on the page. And so this is one of those pockets and I put one of the little uh, tags on there and my trim and my uh, lace and I made a tag to go inside and um, I just made the tag out of some pink paper that was in the kit and I stamped it with a message and it messed up. So I 
mounted on top of the tag, this Forever Friends, and cut it to fit the tag and made a side pocket. And in the pocket is another little paper that has what I tried to stamp inside there before. Uh, you are my moon and stars. And this is one of the butterflies from the kit. And so this just slides right down in that pocket. It's kind of fun to have surprises like that. So um, it worked out okay. This page, I just put one of the roses up there and stenciled uh, lace down the side. And on this page, I used uh, one of the hearts and the words best friend, and, and I have some stickles on there. And I just put a little bit of that eyelash lace, eyelash yarn underneath there. And this is half of our doily. And um, over here, I used the girl in the swing, and she had this stick that stuck way out the side, and I took that off and just mounted her on the page. And I used stickles on the flowers. When you use just the uh, regular copy paper for the pages, uh, it's good ever so often to put something that covers the whole page and it uh, makes it um, more sturdy. Here's This is the center of the journal and uh, I decided to use one of the wreaths um, uh, glued right in the center and that covered my two uh, paper clips on the, I mean, uh, staples on the inside. I tried to put lace down the side on some of the pages so that I would have some lace on the edge. I used that pretty green uh, lace that my friend um, hand dyed for me. Over here, I just used one of the little hearts and made it into a pocket with a heart inside the pocket and a butterfly. This is the other half of our doily. And this I used, uh, this saying says, friendship isn't a big thing, it's a million little things. And I have some uh, washi tape that goes with quite, quite well with some of these patterns. So I uh, actually glued it on there so it would stay well and made a hinge so that this flips up for writing space. Uh, on this page, I used another one of the large tickets and made a side pocket, and I have two small tickets inside. On this book page, I uh, used one of the tickets that said bless, and I had to cut off the side of it so that she could sit up on the top of it like that. Uh, this is the girl trying to catch a butterfly, and I put one of our 3D butterflies on there and some green um, lace across the bottom um, to hang out the bottom, plus it kind of looks like grass. This page, all I did was put my green lace and Forever Friends ticket. I actually ran low of uh, on little small things. I've got to cut out some more, print out some more if I want to make two more of these journals. Uh, this page, I just put one of the um, framed, like calico pastel frames, and I thought that would be a good little writing space. I started to stamp something in there and decided it would be good for writing space, and then I accented it with a rose. This is the inside back cover, and I just put Forever Friends, and I took the three roses and made a pocket for two tickets. And that's it. I just think this would be a beautiful little gift uh, for a friend. Uh, you could tuck a gift card in there if you wanted to actually make a larger gift out of it. But uh, it's just such a sweet little thing. It could be used. Uh, as a journal of some kind and uh, just look pretty uh, sitting on the nightstand 
uh, to remind you, remind uh, your friend uh, how much you love them. So that's it for tonight. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I plan to make a couple of other things uh, from this kit. And um, um, so I'll get busy when I have a minute. I'm going to spend the day shopping and having lunch with a friend tomorrow. And so uh, I'll be back in a few days with something else new. So I hope you've had a good day. And remember that every day is a gift, um, no matter what you might be going through. Uh, God gives us the gift of a new day each morning, and we can choose uh, to look for the joy in that day. Uh, even if you're going through trials and tribulations, there can be joy found in the day uh, just by uh, looking around you and um, uh, seeing all the beauty of the world. So when you find that joy, share it with everyone you meet along the way. Uh, everyone needs joy. Um, to have joy in their life. So I'm gonna stop now and um, I'll be back before you know it. So I'll see you soon.